come establish a Utah office, but we have money for it. So what, but it, it required collaboration between government and then the you know, wealthy families and companies and then help and then getting VCs to say, we'll open up an office in Utah and, and spend time in Utah, look at the Utah companies and invest in the best ones. So I'd say I, it's, that's one shortcut. There are many more and I'd love to follow up with you and continue to explore that with you. But that's one shortcut if the German government would be like, you know, ex, uh, receptive to this. Yes? Um, I really love what you're saying. Thank um, you. We are a group of 24 people. We started in January being an advisory board for Minister Rosner um, on the issue of digital economy. And I'd say, yes, we also have one suggestion is show some of those success stories. So um, make it happen or show that it, it, it can happen. But we have one, one major challenge we actually think about, and this is the female entrepreneur in the digital economy. So how many female founders do you have here? Do you have any idea, actually, what to take home and to do in the German digital economy? Uh, we have a few female entrepreneurs, founders here. One named Megan Casey, who's building a, a dog social network, a social network for people with dogs. It sounds crazy <laughs> and stupid, but Megan is amazing, and she will succeed. And uh, I'd love to connect with connect you with some of the female founders so that they could give you feedback on, hey, this this is why this is how we make how we're making it possible. This is what motivates us. This is how the ecosystem helps us. I'd love to connect you with um, with them. There's also organizations here like Astia um, that are female focused venture networks. Um, there are more and more female VCs now. Um, and so the outlook for female entrepreneurs is really bright here in Silicon Valley, and I hope that it will be too. Very bright females in Germany. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. What do you need to do to bring you to Germany and help us uh, yes. in the mindset ecosystem? Uh, I would love, uh, I would love a box of the, uh, German uh, cookies. There's this, I forget what to call it. Uh, yes, say it again. Yes. I, I know the world's leading producer of Lebo. Uh, we get your big parcels. Just, just a small, just a small tip. Okay. Just a small tip. That's, that's a promise. That's a promise. Absolutely. Yes. That's all it takes. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay, you're going to get an invitation. Absolutely, yes. And I think that's a good time to end it. I'd love to talk to you all one on one after if you have any more questions. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Of course, thank you so much. So you've now told us all about yourself, and I think it's only fair that we introduce the group a little bit. Please, so, yes. Um, if we could please have, um, just so you know, kind of have an idea about who's here, um, if we could have the investors raise their hands. We do have a few investors here up, too. Um, let's have all the people who are startup entrepreneurs raise their hands, please. So you said in your opening, very opening remarks, you said that Germany is known as a country that doesn't like to take risks. And I think that we have a, um, a living proof right here that that's changing rapidly in Germany because every single person in this room, this is just a, a representative of what's happening in Germany, are all willing to take risks. So, so yes, it's changing, it's changing rapidly, and let's see what we can do. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, I congratulate all of you who have decided to, you know, take that step to stick your neck out, to risk your reputation. It's a, uh, it's a wonderful privilege to be able to build value, and I commend all of you. Okay, thank you. Thank and then um, I wanted to mention, just in case you want to know what it's like to be a resident here, there is a German who has a startup company here, um, and it's Christian Nitsch. So Christian, you want to come up and tell uh, from your perspective? He's also a, uh, the leader of a group in San Francisco called Wirtschaft Junioren. Yeah. Um, so if you could just make a couple of from your perspective, what's it like to, to yeah, be here? Yeah. So um, we're very uh, grateful to be here. It's a great community here as well. It's one of the most beautiful spaces here in the world. 
we have some. Uh, oh, sorry. Only to put it in I'm here with uh, Firebrand. I got the one-way ticket uh, to the valley, and uh, it's really a great community to be here at Runway. And uh, we are under Hackathon Founders, that's the core innovator program. And uh, so uh, we're a small team. My CEO is uh, just at the moment pitching with SV4 Angels. Uh, later today, we are turning up to Petaluma to pitch to North Bay Angels. So it's, it's great to have a home base here, great community, other startups which are also uh, offers, uh, offers services uh, uh, like uh, uh, screen designs and, and uh, back end uh, setups. So it's, it's a great place here. And I'm sure we have quite a tour. Yes, yeah. yes. And so um, we will have an opportunity to walk around. Maybe we've been sitting long enough. Um, we will have, um, I think we're having someone, a, a female founder from One Kings Lane that will come up and, and say a few words about her very successful startup. But in the meantime, I think let's, let's get up and move around a little bit. So let's do a little walk around. <laughs> 